All right, everybody, I'm going to today show you how to prepare your Nestmaker Bite Off 2020 projects for submission from inside Nestmaker. And you might ask how I'm doing this from the year 1989. Don't forget, I've got the hand link and I'm actually remotely controlling this laptop in your time. Don't think too much about it. Anyway, what I want to do first is I want to organize a handful of folders. I want a screenshots folder that has screenshots from my game. I want an art folder that has additional art for my game, a music folder that has uh, my music for my game. We'll talk about that in a second. And I need to have a manual of some kind. If you don't have a way to create a PDF file, uh, you can actually just create a simple text file by right-clicking and going to new text document and you can make a manual that way. These don't have to be called anything specific, but you just need to know what they are, uh, what, what uh, where they are and how to find them. Uh, I'm going to go to my gear icon here at the top of the screen and I'm going to go to export settings. And this is where I'm going to set up my export for the project. And it's going to create a zip file and that zip file is what you're going to submit. So the first thing I'll do is I'm going to select an image that I want to use for my cover image. I've got one here on my desktop. I'm just going to use the Nestmaker logo. Um, you can use whatever image that you want, some box art, some promo art, whatever you think would be appropriate. Once we're talking about uh, actually submissions, uh, actual submissions to Polymega, and we're doing the Polymega validate and stuff like that, there are some specifics that the image has to adhere to. But right now for Bite Off, this can be pretty much any, any image that you'd like. Um, now you have to assign these to these folders. So the instruction manual, um, I want to find my manual, which... If I like, let's say I wanted to, I have my PDF right here, but let's say I wanted to use this manual, this text document. All I have to do is change this to all files and you'll see that my manual two shows up and the text document will be fine for a manual. Um, if you want something that's more rich and cool looking, uh, you know, make a PDF and that would, that would be even better. Soundtrack folder. <clears throat> I can click on this and I'm going to go to music. Double click on it and just hit save and it'll it'll drop that in. Screenshot folder. I made one called art. Save that. Okay, and additional artwork folder. Um, I'm sorry, this is where I wanted art to be. And I actually have a folder called screenshots. Uh, so let me just change that real quick, don't I? Yes, great. None of them have any of that information in them. But anyway, again, you can name these anything you want. It doesn't really matter. It is important, though, that you do have something in place for all of them. If you want to know how to get uh, music uh, music out of Tracker, you can actually export your songs as WAV files, and you can select the songs that you want to include in the folder and then just copy those WAV files and put them inside the music folder. Uh, screenshots, you can take screenshots uh, you can export screenshots right from Messin, and most other emulators have a way to do it too. You can take a still shot, um, go ahead and put some screenshots in that folder. Uh, then I can go through and I can uh, build out my game as far as the attributes and credits. So the title of the game is Joji's Awesome Game Studio. Nestmaker Studios, year 1989. Narrative, I did it. Guys, use your real names for this stuff. Uh, I know that some of you guys like to put your your avatar or your um, you know your screen names and avatars and stuff like that, and that's great. But if we ever wanted to track uh, who actually created these things, we might want the actual credit for your name, and uh, you can put that. Uh, if you have an avatar that you'd prefer to be go by, you can put that in additional notes or whatever. But let's get real names on the credits. Pixel art, I did it. Sound. Uh, and I do the programming. Okay, so now uh, I can put any additional information that I want. So if I have other credits to give, like I only really had enough room for one person to put pixel art, but let's say Austin uh, also did pixel art. Additional pixel artists, Austin McKinley, additional musicians, person, Bob, John, Mike, Kurt. Okay, great. So now I, I can put whatever I want in here. I could write the narrative once upon a time, the end, or whatever. I could put whatever I want in there. And then I'm going to give uh, a ROM file name and I'll call this ROM Joji's Awesome Game. Then I'm going to hit export. Uh, I'm going to choose where I want that export to go. So I'm going to make mine right on the desktop and I'm going to call it Joji's Awesome 
game. That'll be the name of the zip file. Hit save. And the first thing it's going to do is it's going to compile the latest build of your game. So make sure your game was in the state that you wanted it. Um, and if you haven't entered one of these right or there was problems with one of these folders, it will return an error. Now, I have seen this compiled just fine, even when it has returned an error, but you might want to check the zip file. So this zip file that has been created right here, that's what you are actually going to submit. You're going to submit to the competition uh, this zip file, and you'll see the instructions on how and where to submit that below this. Um, now I can just, so don't even worry about what I'm about to do. I just want to unzip this to show you what it actually created. If I go to 7-zip and go to extract files, um, don't you don't have to do that at all this is what I need from you here's what that actually created though it created a folder a hierarchy with the artwork screenshots and soundtrack the ROM file named the way that I wanted it the manual the cover art and the readme text so the uh, readme text there's all that extra stuff that I put in so that's it gives me this stuff um, and then it also gives me all that additional information um, that I needed to put that I put there. Um, soundtrack, you can see it's got my wave files, screenshots, it's just got exactly what I loaded in all in one concise place. So that's what it's actually creating. And, and that's what's inside the zip file. So now all you need to do is go to the submission page and upload that zip file. So that's how you can uh, take your game, prepare it for submission, export it all, bundle it all together from inside Nestmaker and wind up with a zip file that you can distribute. Okay, so check out uh, the rest of the links for the uh, submission instructions on exactly where you're submitting this stuff. Thanks for watching.